What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see here, we're repping some new hardware from the Losi Mini Nationals that took place uh, last weekend over at RC Madness. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and check out my last video. I went over everything Mini Nats. Um, unfortunately, you missed this year's Mini Nats, but next year's is right around the corner. Uh, speaking of the Mini Nats, you may have seen, if you were there, some people running this brand new Arma Typhon Grom in the 114 scale class that we had going. And uh, in today's video, I wanted to do a in-depth comparison of the new Typhon Grom versus the tried and true Rolarlo uh, 114 scale buggy. Now they do have a 114 scale brushless buggy. Uh, this one is brushed, but I'm gonna get into all of that in a little bit. So uh, stick around if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and uh, let's get into it. First things first, the Rolarlo is classified as a 114 scale four wheel drive buggy. Uh, Arma didn't seem to put a scale on this, but as you can see from this side-by-side -side comparison, this is a 14 scale buggy. Um, right off the bat, we'll get into the pricing. At the time of filming this video, uh, the Rolarlo on Amazon is $149.99. Um, they do promotions on it often. Uh, you can get it even as cheap as $100, $99 sometimes on Amazon. I'll link both these things down below. Uh, so you can check them both out but the typhon currently the release price is 140 dollars uh, not sure if horizon is going to do any promos on this in the future but uh, 140 is a pretty good price and i definitely want to see how these stack up against each other so uh, after i do the side by side comparison we're going to do some speed runs and of course we're going to run it on the backyard track because these are bashers so with that 149 dollar price tag for the rolarlo it comes with with everything you need to run it. Uh, comes with a, a transmitter, it comes with battery, charger, tools, extra accessories, arms and stuff like that. So not a bad price for this car right here. Um, with the Arma one, you do get all of those same things. Uh, there's no additional parts or anything in the box, but you do get this USB uh, C style charger with the included adapter with the IC2. Um, you also get a bunch of stuff in the box with it, user guide, some extra shock um, spacers and stuff like that, a new uh, tool, and obviously the um, ready to run starters guide. So starting off with the outside and everything you can see without taking the body off, uh, the Rolarlo obviously has an aluminum chassis, which is something that the uh, Arma one does not. Um, Rolarlo makes a carbon fiber chassis for this one as well. You can also see the Rolarlo has aluminum uh, bodied shocks complete with aluminum caps. Um, they are oil filled. As you can see here, the Arma does have a full plastic bodied shock. Uh, the Rolarlo one is threaded, so you can adjust uh, the preload on there with the, the thread screw there. You might be able to fit the Rolarlo ones on here. Uh, the Arma ones do look a little bit smaller, so they, they may be too long, too stiff to put on the Arma one, but um, we might try that down the road. Also sticking up front, the Rolarlo has a aluminum shock tower that mounts up to the diff case here, while the Arma one is all plastic. As I said, there's a lot of plastic stuff on this Arma one. Moving on to the tires, uh, the Rolarlo has a staggered setup. The rear tires are a little bit wider than the fronts. Um, they're both 12 millimeter hex tires, so you could swap them or vice versa, whatever you wanna do. Um, the Arma ones do not have foams in them, but they are vented on the outside as well as on the inside rim. So if you get water and dirt in there, that should fling out of the Arma ones. Um, the Rolarla ones have foams in there and they're only vented on the uh, rim. So something to note there, again, they're both 12 millimeter hex uh, wheels and tires. So anything that you find off of Amazon, those cheap plastic tires, anything like this that are 12 millimeter hex, you could go ahead and swap those onto either car and they are just about the same height and width. So uh, there should be no problems buying 12 millimeter hex rims and tires to customize either car to your liking for 
straight from Amazon or even your local hobby shop. I picked this up at my local hobby shop over at RC Madness. Uh, they do not carry Rolarlo stuff, so I picked this one up off of Amazon. Looking at the bodies of both of these cars, they are very, very similar in design. I did a video, I've done a few videos on the Rolarlo since uh, it came out. And I labeled this the Typhon Grom, uh, or the Typhon Mini, actually, when it first came out, because the body looks literally exactly like the Arma Typhon 3S and 6S, with these little uh, fins down the side, even the little faux vents on the side, looks exactly, almost identical to the actual Arma Typhon Grom that they just came out with, uh, with those little three steps there. But you will notice that the Typhon, um, there's no body clips, which is cool. Arma is going to a lot of clipless designs here. Um, it slides right into the back shock tower. Then you just push down here, clips in, and that body isn't going anywhere. So a really cool design from Arma. You don't have to worry about losing body clips and it comes off super, super easy. Of course, I had to get the red version. Rolarlo does have a red version in their 14 scale buggy. Um, they also have this blue one and a teal one. Um, the brushless version comes in a gray color body as well as a purple body. So a lot more color options for the Rolarlo ones. You can buy clear bodies for both of them. So if you really want to customize either car, you can go ahead and buy a clear body and paint it up however you seem fit by yourself. On the Rolarlo here, as nicely as it is built and as hobby grade as it may seem, it does have Phillips head hardware all over the car. Um, they are prone to stripping out. Um, these Chinese kind of Amazon cars do tend to put a lot of Loctite on stuff and it makes it very difficult to uh, take some stuff off. Um, with the Armor one, they have hex hardware all around the car, which is a great feature, as well as providing you with the Allen tools in the box so you can work on this car very easily. Again, this car is brand new. I haven't run it at all, so I'm not sure how to take anything apart. I've, eventually, I will get to it, but I've watched a few videos. Taking out the diffs and stuff seems to be pretty easy, and it looks like a very nice compact design, so I'm excited to run this. In relation to the drivetrain, the Rolarlo does have aluminum uh, CVDs up front. It also has metal drive cups that go into the differentials. All plastic arms, knuckles, and, and all that stuff. Um, the back does have dog bones, along with metal cups out in the hub there. Um, full ball bearings all around in both. Moving on to the Arma, it does have metal drive shafts, uh, CVDs up front, uh, dog bones in the rear, the out cups on the differentials as well as the cups uh, out near the hub are plastic. So uh, people that are running brushless systems and doing these for speed runs, you might have some issues with those plastic cups. Um, don't worry, Arma does have all aluminum upgrades that they're coming out with if they're not out already. Needless to say, although they are the same price right out of the box, there is more plastic on the Arma one compared to uh, the Rolarlo. So again, I'm kind of torn as to which one I'm going to like more. I know how these things run. We have yet to run this. I think the speed run and um, the dirt track kind of bashing is really going to decide which one I like better for the price. Some other stuff you can see here before we get into the electronics. Um, the Rolarlo has fully adjustable toe and camber um, on the front as well as adjustable camber on the rear. The Arma one does not. These are fixed so um, there's no adjustability there. I'm sure there are um, upgrades that you can do to this so you can get that adjustability in the toe and camber and stuff like that. But let's talk electronics. Uh, first things first, the Rolarlo comes with a 1800 milliamp hour 2S LiPo. Um, I have this one situated so that it can fit the bigger battery um, that Rolarlo does sell on Amazon. Um, it's a standard 2800 milliamp hour 2S LiPo fits nicely in there. 
Um, it will actually fit in the Arma one as well, but you will need to change the plugs on the battery for the Arma one. As I'm saying that, you can see the Arma one comes with the Spectrum uh, G2 smart batteries. It does have an IC2 connector on there. Um, it is a 2S LiPo 30C discharge, 1400 milliamps. So something that I don't really like with the Arma stuff or any of the Spectrum stuff is I'm kind of old school, I guess you could call it, but I do like um, the Dean style connectors or any connectors that aren't considered the smart technology because you can use it on most chargers. With this G2 battery, you will need some sort of smart charger. Again, they do, they do provide you one in the um, box. It does plug right in there, and then this will plug into a USB-C, but you are limited to how fast it'll charge. I think these take probably an hour or so to charge fully, um, while with the Dean's plugs and balance leads of any standard um, battery, you can seem to charge them quicker on any sort of aftermarket charger. With them both coming with 2S batteries, there is a difference with the electronics. Uh, the Rolarlo comes with a 60 amp ESC here. It's an ESC receiver combo. Um, it does handle up to 3S. I've run these cars on 3S. I've even run the brushless ones on 4S and they've handled it just fine. So this is a 2S and 3S compatible ESC receiver combo. Moving over to the Arma, this is also an ESC receiver combo, but it is only a 2S capable uh, ESC receiver combo. It's a 25 amp ESC versus a 60 amp. Uh, you can just get a 3S battery and throw it right in the Rolarlo and you're gonna get much higher speeds. Um, for this video, we're gonna run uh, two cell on both. They both have three wire servos. Um, the Rolarlo one is a 1.7 kilogram three wire servo. Couldn't find much info on the specs on the servo for the Arma one. It is a Spectrum SX110 three wire servo. Um, so you can see there, you could upgrade those servos down the road on either car. Nice hobby grade option having three wire servos. And then moving our way down to the motors, you can see there is a big size difference in the motors. The Rolarlo does have a 550 sized brush motor in here. It's big, it's beefy. It does have a heat sink on it in case it overheats or starts to get warm. It will dissipate that heat a little bit better. While the Arma one has a 380 style brush size motor, does have a heat sink on there and Arma has also provided us with a fan right in between the ESC and the motor. So that's a nice little feature to kind of get rid of some of that heat. There isn't really any room in here to put a fan, although you could try and fit one. It might rub on the body if you put it on the heat sink. One other thing to talk about, um, the Rolarlo does have metal differentials, meaning that the outside gear, the input gears are all metal, as well as inside the differential there, those little sun gears and in the planetary gears those are all metal in the Rolarlo ones um, with most of the Chinese brand RC cars there's usually not a lot of grease or fluid or anything in those differentials so it's always good to look through them once you get one of these smaller cars or any RC car for that matter the Arma does have metal external gears on the differential but those planetary and sun gears inside the differential on the arma are plastic so again if you're going to upgrade the electronics on this you may run into some issues blowing out the differentials arma does make fully metal differentials for these cars should be the same as the uh, granite grom which is a similar platform so again there are upgrades to do on this to make it as bulletproof you could say as the Rolarlo one but again I'm not knocking this car yet without running it I think it's going to be just fine compared to the Rolarlo we'll just go over the remotes really quickly here if you want to give either one of these cars to a small kid uh, they both have good options to do so um, the Rolarlo car does have just a standard remote here it's a little big to one wheel steer but it has throttle trim on there you can turn that down and give it to a kid and even if they give it full throttle it'll only go half speed or whatever you set that to it also has a steering trim in case it's veering one way versus the other you can kind of center it with that nod and in the middle here there is a steering dual rate so if you want it to turn less for speed runs you can turn that down if you want it to turn sharper uh, you can turn that up so standard remote here um, no real additional features to it it does need three AA batteries to run, which are not provided in the Rolarlo car. Moving over to the Arma, 
They've been putting a lot of these stickers with QR codes on a lot of their new vehicles. I think they want to get this more into the hands of newbies and, and new consumers. So um, definitely cool to see those QR codes and, and help people uh, direct them to videos on how to troubleshoot things and learn more about the car. But it does have some of the same features as the Rolarlo. It has steering dual rate, it has steering trim right here. And then for that throttle trim that I was talking about, um, there is a there's a 50, a 75, and a 100 knob that you can put it to. So if you wanna give it to a little kid and not give them full speed, turn that down to 50% give it full throttle and it'll only go half speed. So when you're doing speed runs and stuff like that, if you don't seem to be think you're getting fast enough, check that little knob on the, the backside of the remote. Make sure you're at 100% and this thing will go as fast as it can out of the box. So that's enough of a comparison for these two cars. Let's take them outside. We'll do some speed runs. We'll do some bashing. See if anything breaks and I'll let you know which one I like better right out of the box. All right, so let's start things off with a speed run. We got our GNSS GPS here. Um, let's see, we'll straighten this up. And we got two cell in both of them. Obviously, again, the Rolarlo can run three cell. But I definitely want to see how much faster the Rolarlo is going to be. Not the fastest. Again, we got that GPS on the back there. That's full speed. Let's see what we got here. All right, so 22 miles an hour stock speed out of the Rolarlo. Thought it was faster. Um, maybe we should try one on a different car. Let's give this thing a run. Again, I haven't driven this at all yet. Tires have no dirt on them. Twenty three miles an hour box stock. All right. All right, so I'm going to give these each a rip around the track. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me, but try and give some commentary here now again the Rolarlo I've driven a bunch of times around this track and on different services and stuff like that but I'm really interested to see how the Arma one does um, you can see it's a little little squirrely on this dirt Again, 12 millimeter hex tires, so you could go ahead and change these out for something um, more suitable. You can see there does have some good, good air control. Unfortunately, this one, the shocks are leaking a bit. Um, something that I did notice with the Rolarlo ones, the trim does come out of whack a little bit. You do have to play around with the dual rates. But a fun little car nonetheless, obviously a little bit peppier than the Arma is going to be, but you can see, you can put it where you want it. And those diffs are loose. Again, Rolarlo doesn't seem to put too much fluid in their diffs. have to keep the throttle on it in the air they do track pretty straight But it does, ooh. <laughs> could use some grippier tires out here. But fun little truck, buggy, whatever you want to call it. Ooh. <laughs> All 
right, time for the Typhon Grom. So right away with the Typhon Grom, I can tell that it feels a lot more planted than the Rilarlo. I don't know what it is about it, but it feels like a tuned buggy just scaled down. I can hit almost every turn flat out with just a little bit of throttle control, but it drifts around these corners perfectly, unlike the Rilar Low where it kind of diffs out. I don't know, this one just handles so much better. All right, so I drove them both. I went over both of them. Now, to choose one, I'm not sure. They both have their faults, and they both kind of have their positives. Well, then again, now that I think about it, the Arma doesn't do anything bad. It drives really well. Granted, it is a little bit slower than the Rilarlo. It can't handle 3S, but man, on the dirt track and just handling overall, the Arma handled so much better. That is Arma's tried and true uh, engineering. Rolarlo hasn't been around that long, so maybe eventually they'll get there, but, but the, the Typhon really handled that much better on the dirt track. It cornered better, it jumped better, it landed better. It didn't diff out or spin out around turns. I can almost hit it full throttle on most of the turns in my backyard, and it handled everything really well. The shocks feel plush, even though they are plastic. Um, it's got more plastic than the Rolarlo, but again, it just handles so much better. We even drove it on the carpet track at RC Madness with just some simple carpet tires on it. We didn't change anything else, and it handled really, really well on carpet. So, for the price point, you might get a little bit more with the Rolarlo, but part availability, um, you're going to get the Arma stuff in your local hobby shop. You can also get it online. I think we might have a new 14 scale uh, winner here. You see I got the Arma hoodie on. I'm an Arma fanboy as much as I was a cheap budget uh, Rilarlo fanboy. I think I gotta give this one to the Arma. What do you guys think down below? Which one are you gonna pick up? If you have both, do you agree with me? Does the Arma handle that much better or am I just a little biased right now? Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.